<laughs> oh my goodness. Look at the difference there. I mean, it's a totally different colour. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and to my favourite place in the whole of YouTube. I'm back today at iValet UK with my relatively newly acquired cheap V8 Jaguar. And well, this thing can really do with the attention that these guys are gonna give it because every time I bring a car here, it looks absolutely fantastic when I leave. Actually, I'm gonna be filming a video for iValet on their YouTube channel today as well. So make sure you go over there now and subscribe to watch some more in-depth cleaning on their channel from today. Anyway, oh, actually, there's something I've forgotten to do. Just bear with me one second. That's more like it then. Couldn't let them have it too clean. So let's have a quick catch up with Rob here at iValet, find out what they're going to do to the car and then we'll get it get it going really i can't wait to see this thing looking as it as it did when it left the factory and we're really interested in particular to see if they can do anything with the inside some of the other is quite worn and torn apart i know the airbag cover on the steering wheel is very grubby so if they can get any of the grime and dirt out of that and make it look fresh i'll be really really impressed anyway make sure you subscribe to this channel now if you're one of the 75 percent viewers that are not already and yeah let's have a quick catch up with rob Five minutes, five minutes I leave you. You've gone away for a coffee and you come back like this. <laughs> what are you like, honestly? As if we didn't have enough to do with this cream interior. Seats uh, it's in better days, mate. So um, some of this cracking's not gonna, not gonna tidy up, but color wise, we're definitely gonna get a result with that. Um, Jags notoriously have got light colored carpets. So um, yeah, we should, we should be able to achieve some, uh, some results with that as well. Door cards, yep. Yeah all pretty standard stuff and the steering wheel should um, knock the gloss off of that as well there's loads of grease on there yeah let's have a let's have a look around at some dirt shall we The S-Type's getting a rinse and it looks unbelievable. This beige or champagne gold paintwork, as it should really be called, just shows up so nicely. And this is the first time I've actually had the car clean since I bought it. And it wasn't that clean when I did pick it up, to be honest. So this is really, really welcome. And yeah, I mean, look at it. It's not even a sunny day, but to me it seems like it's absolutely glistening. Surprised at how well the wheels have come out as well, and these wheel nuts, which are probably stainless, do look brand new. So whilst they're just doing some final bits outside on the Jag, I thought I'd just come in here because, although it's not the type of thing I'm gonna feature on the channel for a long time, I wanted to show you this. It's a McLaren 765LT. Now, normally I wouldn't really take a second look at these, but this thing is in a beautiful MSO color, orange pinstripes and calipers and all matching, but silver wheels. You do not see silver wheels enough. I love all of the carbon fiber there, wing mirrors. I think the 765LT is probably the best looking McLaren, at least on the market now. Just look how aggressive it is. Anyway, 
almost done with the Jag now, I think outside. Then we'll bring it in and have a look at the interior, as well as maybe doing things like trying to scrub up the headlights and other little things that we can just do to bring it back to standard. Yeah, I think these might polish out quite nicely. inside you can see just how gorgeous this paintwork looks for a start we've also obviously gone into detail and done inside the door shuts that was completely I mean there was cobwebs and all sorts in there this rubbers even looking really nice and as well at the back it's just looking super super clean this paintwork is absolutely fantastic pretty much perfect to be honest considering the age of the car I mean, it's really good. Only some very minor imperfections here and there. But actually, all in all, very impressive. And like I say, the wheels even have come out very nicely. So interior-wise, then obviously, lots of sort of muddy spots and marks. It's all quite dirty here and a bit, look at that, worn. Obviously, these carpets, I don't even know what color they're meant to be. They look like they are original carpets, but that even looks purple right now. See, the leather seats are pretty worn. This isn't really much of a cleaning job, that would need re-trimming, but I think at least they're gonna look a lot cleaner and smoother once we're done. Really grubby cup holder as well. Airbag cover on the steering wheel is very dirty, but I don't know how much of that is actually just dirt or fading in itself. It would be really good to get in the back here and clean these dirty seats up here too. Also the door cards can do with a bit of a scrub up as well as the carpets. Okay, so as the very, very noisy 765LT, gorgeous colour, comes in, we're going to be... Oh, look! <laughs> I was coming over to tell you that we're going to be removing the old tax disc and parking permit here, but as you can see, it's already coming away really nicely and we've got that lovely glue to get rid of now, which is going to be fun. There's also a sticker around here on the driver's side. Not quite sure what that is or was. Looks very faded. And on the back, there's just this annoying sticker on the glass. You can see just above the rear brake light that I want to get rid of too. Literally just crumbling away, isn't it? Yeah, well, that has been on the car for a while. That has probably been there since new. 23 years that stick has been stuck to that windscreen so it's taken some doing to get rid of it my goodness <laughs> look at this sticker in the back it's literally crumbling away look at that my goodness i've been entrusted with and to oh. let's just squirt that on there that's probably enough i've been given this as well stanley to just get it See if we can have a go at this myself. Oh wow, yeah, look at that.
that's all come off the rear seats. Look at this then, even on the central console, you can see by the shadow there, that's why we've done a 50-50. It's really impressing both of us, all of us actually, how, how well it's all cleaning up. This seat looks incredible, I have to say. Be interesting to see how the driver's seat comes out. Yeah, that is a big difference as well there, look at that. If that doesn't show you what I'm on about, I don't know what will. Look at the difference there. I mean, it's a totally different colour. Wow. Okay, so we've made a lot of progress on the interior and it's looking. Just step in very carefully, slide onto the seats now. And wow, it's looking amazing in here. See, the carpets are looking pristine, as is this central dash now looking really really amazing and even the steering wheel although it's still dirty i think the die started to come off basically um, it's now looking a lot better than it was really happy with how that's come out the main takeaway for me though is i cannot believe especially the passenger front but how white the leather is now that it's been cleaned it was really well it almost matched the exterior before we brought it here but now it is it's literally I guess what BMW would call ivory white. Same can be said for the back of the car, which is looking equally fabulous. Really, really impressed. Well, hello everyone, welcome to Joel's workshop. No, I'm only joking. I've just nicked a drill from the guys here because I'm gonna try and take the rear number plate off. The hazards are flashing at me for some reason. It's saying, Joel, don't come near me with any form at all. I'm going to get this rear number plate off. The uh, bolts have completely rusted through, so I'm going to try and use an electric drill and see if we can get it off. Because when that new plate comes, obviously, I'll need to do it anyway. Yeah, got one. Yeah, <laughs> I did something. Yeah, well, obviously, the plan is clean this all up, try and get some pliers or something with some grip and just pull out the old screws then we'll have a nice flush area to stick the plate back on with some adhesives because obviously hopefully in a few days time at home my replacement plate should arrive and then we'll have a nice flush clean surface to stick that one on and it will fit this area beautifully but not only that we'll know that it's nice and clean underneath quite a lot of residue from that drilling though so we'll make sure to clean that off it's not to undo all the amazing work that they've been doing on the car today. Oh, so satisfying. That's like virgin paint, isn't it? Okay, car's basically there. Last thing then. Put this plate back on and try not to make it completely wonky, which I probably will. It's the one thing I have to do today. That'll do. Well, I think it's not bad actually, but new plate, like I say, should be arriving in the next few days. And so that can come straight off and uh, get some more sticky pads on the new one and pop it onto this now very, very clean rear end of the S-Type. Look at this, guys. Are you ready? <laughs> oh my goodness. This, at least this side of the car, brand new. I cannot believe the white of that seat. Those carpets just look ludicrously good. And across here, it's not so bad either. Obviously, this leather is partly beyond repair, but the color 
has definitely been restored to all of the interior. Uh, yeah, carpet over there, the central console looking regal, as is the wood across the top. Obviously now we have no old stickers there, so it's looking very clean. That wooden steering wheel absolutely glimmering in the light. And let's have a quick look at the back. Oh yeah, same story back here. Really super, super clean. This leather just looks plusher than ever, whiter than the day it left the factory, I'm sure. That is super soft and supple. Same treatment here on the carpets. I can't wait to go and pick up some family members and some friends. Well, not friends actually, I don't have any friends, but some family members in this. What a car. Definitely something now to be proud of and I'm going to be enjoying, with a big grin on my face, the drive home. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Well, here we go then, here's the Jag. What a difference a day makes, because just a few hours ago, I brought this down to I Valet and it was an absolute state. It was caked in mud from my little excursion into a field, let's say, and just inside, it was just filthy. I don't know if it had ever been cleaned, let alone the last time it was. And now, this beige on paper, but champagne gold paintwork has come out and it is glistening. The headlights, although we only did a five minute and very quick machine polish on them, they've come out really well. They're much improved. For me though, the interior is the selling point and the talk of the day because those seats have just changed color. They went from a sort of cream interior to what I would class as an ivory white like you would get at BMW these days. And those carpets as well. I mean, it's like you're stepping into a brand new Rolls Royce Phantom, the way that these guys have cleaned those today. So as ever with iValet, I am super impressed, super, super happy. I hope you guys appreciate that I've given this car the treatment it deserves. It had to come here and get all the love from these guys. Big thank you to them. And you can show your appreciation by clicking in the top left hand or right hand side of the screen now and watching the video that I put together for the iValet guys on their channel right now with some more shots from the cleaning we did today. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you like the Jag, and also make sure you subscribe if you're one of the 75% of my viewers that are not already. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon.